So what is NX Cloud? Well, it's kind of like a thin layer around NX that allows it to operate in a distributed fashion at the level of your whole company. <laughs> what do I even mean by that? Well, let's take a look. I have an NX workspace here. It has some apps and some end-to-end -end tests for those apps. And if I scroll down, I can see that the builds of the apps are configured to depend on the builds of their child buildable libraries. And the end-to-end -end targets, the same, they're configured to depend on the builds of the child apps that they are testing. They're configured this way because they can just serve the build app statically from the dist folder, so they can just test it in a browser. I'm just gonna open up my terminal and let's say I'd like to run these affected end-to-end -end tests. While that's running, let's visualize what is happening. NX figures out what end-to-end -end tests could possibly be affected by my changes in my local branch. It then figures out what the dependencies of those projects are and schedules builds for them so that the dist outputs will be ready for those tests to use. Then in turn, it schedules built for the dependencies of those projects as well and sees that these two apps both depend on the same libraries, so it schedules their builds only once. And it does all of this just because we defined some lines of configuration in here. So if I look at this, I can see the task finished and it kind of took a minute to run all of that. But because of NX's caching mechanisms, if I now run affected build, that's gonna finish almost instantly, 200 milliseconds. And that's because all these builds have already run earlier when I ran my end-to-end -end test. If I run a single end-to-end -end test, that's also gonna complete instantly because it was part of my earlier affected task graph. NX combines caching and task orchestration to make sure that work is scheduled as efficiently as possible in the shortest amount of time. But all of this currently works on a local level. The cache is stored in this node modules cache folder over here. If I run those builds on a different machine that doesn't have access to this same cache folder, it will have to rerun everything again from scratch. NX Cloud extends NX by providing a centralized cache and allowing task orchestration to distribute tasks across multiple machines. It works as a central HTTP service that different machines within your company can connect to. So when I push the branch you just saw up to GitHub as a pull request, and when GitHub Actions starts running all those end-to-end -end tests as part of the CI checks, well, they're gonna complete instantly because it can just pull my test results generated locally on my laptop from the shared NX Cloud cache. And when those checks are successful and they get merged into main, when Dave pulls those changes on his laptop and he tries to do a build, his builds will also now complete instantly because he's just building the same things I just built. Let's see that in action. So I'll open up my terminal and I'll just type NX connect in here. And before I show you what it did, let me just start the end-to-end -end test again in the background. So I'll make this small, and if we go back to my nxjson file and we compare the changes, we can see two things happened. One, the default nx task runner has been replaced with the nx cloud task runner. This is the one that is actually responsible for making all those HTTP calls up to nx cloud to check if there's been a cache hit. And also, it added this unique nx cloud access token so that it can correctly identify my workspace. If we go back to my terminal, we can see that all the end-to-end -end tests have finished running with NX Cloud enabled. If I commit my changes and I push them and I open up a PR, so what's actually gonna happen now on our PR is that we have this GitHub Actions file where we're just running the affected end-to-end -end tests. If I go back to my repo, we'll see that, yeah, they're currently running. We can see that earlier runs of those end-to-end -end tests take about four minutes and 38 seconds. Like if we go in here, we'll see that the affected end-to-end -end step took about one minute and 48 seconds. But if we go back to our new pull request, we can see that with NX Cloud enabled, because I've already run the end-to-end -end tests locally, 
it only took four seconds on CI, down from a minute and 48. Distributed computation caching is now enabled for free and all that had to happen was these two lines of code in our workspace. Let me show you a more advanced example of the cache. I modified the YAML file for our GitHub Actions to also run the build, lint tasks, and even tests. Let me open up a pull request with this branch. So let's go and watch this uh, new branch of mine build now. So I'll go here onto the CI checks. Okay, so this finished. Took about nine minutes. Each task took around a minute and a half to finish. And mm, it failed. Like if I open up the test, I can go through it, but it's not easy. Like I don't know exactly what failed or uh, this looks like a, oh uh, no, it's just a warning. Okay, let's keep going. It's a bit hard to find a failure, right? When you have all of your tasks and all of your logs intermingled with each other in the same huge file. If we go back to my pull request and I scroll down a bit, we see this comment. This is because we've enabled the NX Cloud GitHub integration. And on here, we can see immediately like which commands failed. But if we click on here to see everything that happened for this branch, we see all of our run groups. And then if I click on the tests, here are all of the tests for all of the projects that we just ran. And luckily for us, the failed ones are sorted at the top, but I can also just click only to see failures on here. And then when I open this up, I can see exactly the command that failed. So I can copy it and run it in my terminal. Um, I can see exactly the terminal output. It seems to have expected a single dollar sign while well, I actually have two dollar signs. These, these are logs made for monorepos. And it's included for free when you activate NX Cloud in your workspace. And you can even track other things. So you can see on what kinds of machines your tasks have run. Um, you can track different analytics and see what's happening on your CI and how you can improve your tasks by reorganizing them or maybe running them in parallel. So now that I know what failed, I can go back to my test and I can remove one of the dollar signs. And if I commit and push these changes, and I now go back to my CI, if we're gonna watch what's happening in here, we can see this now passed because I fixed my test. But more importantly, this finished in two minutes. Most of this time was spent installing the dependencies. Last time it took over eight minutes to finish. And this is because most of my tasks, the build, the end-to-end -end tests, the lint, finished quickly because they can just be retrieved from NX Cloud. This small change which I made to my test, there's no way it could have affected the results of the builds or the end-to-end -end tests or even the lint tasks or the results of any other test in my repo except the one which I changed. So most of those have been retrieved from cache. We are so used to all of the tasks rerunning anytime we push anything to a pull request. NX Cloud avoids that completely by only running the test which I changed. Everything else it pulls from the cache instantly. And we saw NX's task orchestration capabilities. With just these two lines of config, NX is able to take a command like this and infer everything that needs to happen and in what order for it to complete successfully. Splitting up your tasks in this way is great because it allows you to optimize for all these tiny individual cache hits. The more you split them, the higher the chance you'll get cache hits. But even with caching enabled, you will always have to run some part of the graph. You'll always have to run maybe some of the builds, even though others can be pulled from cache. Sometimes you might have to run everything and nothing can be pulled from cache. In that case, it might get slow. And the common CI optimization is to split them among multiple CI agents. You might run your builds on one agent, for example, and in parallel to that, on a different machine, you might run the end-to-end -end tests. But the end-to-end -end tests depend on the outputs of the builds. So that means that on whichever machine we run the end-to-end -end test, we need to run the builds as well, so that they have access to each other's outputs. Even if we split them up vertically, not only will this complicate our configs, because we're now manually deciding and configuring what projects to run on what agents, instead of letting NX worry about that, we will still 
end up running the builds at the bottom here twice on each agent because each agent tasks will need them. We need an NX orchestrator that can do this type of task sorting and scheduling, but that is multi-machine aware and can coordinate tasks between multiple machines. And that's where NX Cloud comes in. If I go back to my single agent where we're currently running everything, let me modify my CI config and add this start CI run command. I'll also use the bash ampersand annotation to launch all of these processes in the background at the same time. Cause I've run this script, it will tell NX to not run these commands at all on this GitHub agent. Instead, because of the ampersand notation, it's gonna launch them all at the same time in parallel, and it's gonna send them up to NX Cloud and then wait. And down here, I'll just paste this code that's supposed to create a job matrix of agents. So it's basically gonna launch three GitHub agents at the same time whenever this workflow runs. And they all do the same thing as my main agent. So they check out the repo, they set up node, they do an NPM install. And the last thing, I'm gonna run this. This is a long running process that continuously makes HTTP requests to NX Cloud, asking it for what tasks should I run? Once it gets some tasks, it runs them in place and then asks for some more. And any terminal outputs and disk artifacts that are generated on this agent are continuously uploaded back to NX Cloud and streamed to the main agent or to the other agents that might also need them for their tasks. Once there's nothing else to run, this process will just shut down by itself and this all, whole agent will be turned off. Because all the work from these agents are streamed back onto here, once this is done, we can do things like um, build our Docker images and deploy them. This is because we know the dist folder will be available. We can also publish our test results to SonarCube because they're gonna be available as they were streamed from the agents running these tests. The main agent will look to the naked eye as if it's been actually doing all the work in the background in the meantime, when in reality, it's just been distributed behind the scenes to my worker agents. So if I check this in, so now if I go to GitHub, we'll see that it launched all these three separate agents, which are now, some of them are actually running the build. And if we go back to my main CI checks job, well, we'll see all of those build results being streamed in real time back on here. So it really is looking as if it's all doing all the work, but all the magic is happening on these worker jobs here. And now that it's finished, even though this fake task I added on here for the Docker build failed because it doesn't really exist, all of my CI checks, my lint, builds, and twin tests, just unit tests, all of them finished in under two minutes. And this is a worst case running time where nothing could be pulled from cache. If you look at previous builds where we ran everything on one agent, it took about a minute and a half for each. So roughly six minutes in total. By distributing our work among three worker agents, we managed to cut down our worst case CI running time from six minutes to only two minutes. And if we want to make it even faster, we could easily add more worker agents on here. And NX Cloud will make sure everything is distributed optimally among all of them. Finally, if your company has any specific requirements for using NX Cloud, we offer a range of options. We can guarantee data hosting in the Eurozone. We can create entirely isolated clusters just for your company in any geographic region you prefer. And we can even help you deploy NX Cloud on-premise onto your infrastructure. Check out nx.app, try out NX Cloud for yourselves. It's completely free for small to medium workspaces and comment below with any questions you might have. Thanks so much for listening.